Hi everybody, welcome to my channel. And today I have an unboxing for you. This is my second order with Christine Jewelry in BC here, and they still have a 30% off online sale. So I managed to talk myself into a few more items. So let's open this up and I will share with you what I picked out. Okay, so we're just gonna cut the envelope here and I have four items inside. And I'm just gonna make sure that my receipt isn't visible. And here's all my items right here. And, oh, one more. There we go. So that's actually really cute, the way that they package this up. So let's open these up one at a time and I'll just start with this one right here. And I actually don't wanna rip up this paper because I don't have too much Pandora tissue paper, so this might be handy. And I have a little pendant here. This pendant is long retired. I don't even remember when it retired, if it was two years ago or so, but this is the Lucky Four Leaf Clover Pendant. And you can see that it is a chunky size. Like this is not a tiny little pendant. Um, it does have one green CZ. And then you've got that oxidization for the lines. And then the back just has the Pandora symbol right in the center. There is a little heart detail right there where the CZ is on the other side. And then you've got the Pandora name. And I just think this is gonna be really fun to design with on a nature themed bracelet. I can think of so many different bracelets that I can add this pendant to as a dangle. And I just really like the size of it. Like it's a chunky pendant. So next let's open up this one here. And see what's inside. And I did get a new release. This is the Tinkerbell charm. This was my favorite charm from the Tinkerbell release, and I think it was a favorite with a lot of people. I love the fact that they combine Tinkerbell with Celestial. So let's take a look at this charm from all sides. You have Tinkerbell sitting on top of the thimble. You have the little imprints for the thimble there, and even on the top of the charm inside. And Tinkerbell's wings are just smooth from the back. And let's take a look from here. You've got the Pandora and the Disney. And then on this side of the charm, you still have all of these beautiful details. Like look at the back there, that extra star on top with the little gold CZ in the center. This is such a well done charm. And then inside, let's see if we can spot the hallmark. And there is the hallmark there. So they kind of hit it nicely inside this charm. So I think this is going to be a fantastic charm. And no matter which way it is like facing on your bracelet, you've got a little bit of detail. And it's not a flipper, as you can tell, it's properly weighted. But if you do see that side, that's probably the least attractive side. But I think it's such a pretty little Tinkerbell charm. Okay, let's open one more and I'll just kind of randomly pick one here and see what's inside. And this is a ring as you can see. And I did get the infinity ring. So I did choose this simple infinity band ring and this one here is actually my second. So the first one I wear quite a bit, my daughter keeps borrowing it and it's more her size compared to mine. So I decided to get a second ring because it's such a good value, this ring. It's not a super thin ring, as you can see, like it's sometimes Pandora's newer rings are getting a little bit thinner with the silver, but this one still is quite substantial. And this ring is such a pretty stacking ring. It looks so nice with other rings. It just kind of highlights on top or underneath, or it can even be just worn on its own. And here it is on top of a birthday bloom ring. So it's just going to be a really nice ring to have in my collection, especially considering my daughter keeps borrowing this one that I have. So let's open up this final item now. And I'm pretty sure I know what this one is. And I did get another Tinkerbell charm. So let's look at this one closer up. 
So this one is called the Tinkerbell Night Dangle, and it is in 14 karat gold plated, but you have Tinkerbell's profile, and it looks like she's just about to kind of take off into the night there. It's a little bit abstract, and I'm not gonna lie, this was probably my second choice from the Tinkerbell collection. And what I really like about this one is the star detail in the background. So it's not so much Tinkerbell herself, but I just thought this was such a pretty background design. You've got the moon and the stars, and I'm not sure what this detail is right here. And to be honest, I'm still not quite sure what this detail is right here. So if you do know, leave me a comment below. But you can make out the stars and the moon, and then you even have some stars on the bail. So I think this charm would benefit from some oxidization, so it will get better with time. And let's look at the back of this charm. And a few more details of some stars, and it says, I believe in fairies. And what's nice about the back of this is Tinkerbell is the same from the front or the back, and there she is on the side. So Tinkerbell isn't just a flat little disc. You can see that there's a space between her wings there. And here are the two charms together. So you can see a little bit of a size comparison. So I was thinking with the bracelet design on this one, I think it'd be nice to kind of lean into that celestial theme. And I do have some spare celestial charms left over from a bracelet design that I took apart. And let me just pull those out quickly here for you. So here they are together, and as you can see, that blue two-tone right there, that is 14 karat gold charm, that Wanderlust, and then that 14 karat gold around the CZ. But I was thinking of leaning into that celestial theme and kind of creating a design using that. And then there is another charm that Pandora has in their catalog that I thought would balance well um, with this dangling one here with that 14 karat gold, and it's also a plated charm. So going to my catalog from the Autumn Winter 2021. So this is a Canadian catalog. It's this one right here. It's called the Shooting Star Hearts Double Dangle. Look how expensive this one is. It's $115, which I think is quite pricey. It is a double disc. Um, there's one CZ there. It looks like you get some oxidized stars with CZs. And then it says you are my galaxy on the other side. But I was thinking that these two charms would balance nicely together on a bracelet design, but it is so expensive. So Christine Jewelers does have this one for 30% off and I'm kind of tempted by it. If I do it, that means I probably won't be participating in the Mother's Day bangle promo that's most likely coming up soon. So that's my debate right now. But I think it would be kind of cute creating a celestial theme bracelet design and adding a little Tinkerbell into it. So these are all the items that I picked out, the ring, um, this little four leaf clover dangle, and then the two Tinkerbell charms. And leave me a comment below. Let me know what you think about this idea of combining that theme with Tinkerbell. Thank you so much for watching everybody. I hope that you enjoyed this quick unboxing video and I hope you're all doing well. Take care, bye-bye.